Hi, in this video we will talk about unit vectors. As you may recall, vectors are quantities that describe direction and length. If vector length is set to one unit, then this is called unit vector. Let's take an example. Suppose I have vector v equal 5 unit shift in the x direction, 0 in the y, and 0 in the z. In my 3D coordinate system, I can represent my vector by anchor it to any point A in space and use a line segment and an arrowhead to represent the vector. In this case, the vector goes parallel to the x direction and has a length equals to 5 units. If I create another vector that goes in the same direction as my vector v, but has a length of exactly one unit, let me call that vector v dash, then v dash is a unit vector. Notice that v dash goes into the same direction as vector v, but has different length. Notice that v dash is not equivalent to vector v. They are two different vectors. The only thing is that they go to the same direction. So the unit vector of any given vector is a new vector that has length equal to 1, regardless of the length of the input vector. Let's create and visualize a unit vector in a grasshopper. Given a vector v, 5, 2, 0, we can anchor it to any point in space and be able to represent that vector. Now suppose I want to create a vector that goes in the same direction as vector v, but has a length of exactly one unit. How do I do that? In a grasshopper, under vectors, we have the component unit vector. What unit vector does, it takes a vector as an input and give you a new vector as an output. Let's see what that vector looks like. It is approximately 0 0.9, 0, 0.3, and that vector should go in the same direction as the original vector. Let's feed it into the display. As you can see, there is a new vector that has been created that goes in the same direction as my original input vector. Let's check the length of that vector. There is a component in a grasshopper that gives you the length of a vector, vector length. It takes a vector and gives the length of that vector. Let's feed the L output in there. As you can see, the length is one unit. And this is how you create a unit vector in Grasshopper.